Hey folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorial I'd like to explain to you how to manage assembly with 3D connection. I've got a question from you on my YouTube channel that if I can explain 3D connection and function on this assembly. I have created this assembly long time ago and you can download it directly from the grabcat.com. Over there you can find a lot of CAD files and some of mine. If you download the data, you can find there the zip file and in the zip file you can find this assembly. This assembly is created from some components and every component is defined with specific material. So you can see here that you can apply the material for all objects by model properties. Every object over here are placed, so if I select the definition, you can see here that first component in the assembly is the table and it's placed by default. How to work with assembly and placement of components? I would like to start directly again from the scratch on my new tutorials for assembling. I will start with the base assembling of the object and then I'd like to follow and continue with mechanism. It will be something like small jump from zero to 3D connection. The second object or another object what is there you can see here that is a sum ball and every ball is placed by mechanism constraint 6 DOF. So you can see what does it mean or you can see here that 6 DOF means 6 degree of freedom. So you can place the ball anywhere in the space and is defined by coordinate system to coordinate system. So you can specify the real model and his coordinate system to assembly coordinate system. If you place for example a few balls there then you would like to move with these balls. You can use by gravity or you can use for example billiard cue. So I've definite the billiard cue if I select again a definition a slider connection and again how it work, how it look, how to manage slider, spin connection and every connection I will show you later. So for example here you can see that my slider connection is placed on the axis alignment, on the assembly axis and axis placed directly on this 3D model and then you can go through that I said the rotation because I don't want to spin around and translation axis so we can set maximum and minimum values for these objects. What does it mean? If I use the drag component I can select this object and move it a little bit. For now you can see that the 3D connection it doesn't work. I will show later that the system need to calculate this information. You know that if you move with mechanism it's the possible to create the snapshots. Yes, yeah, so you can specify the special placement and then make a snapshot. If you create a snapshot, you can set your custom name. So set name and system will rename it. You can add how many snapshots you want or you can delete if you don't want to use it. If you would like to go back to previous snapshot, you can select double click and the system will set all position of every object on the direct place. So you can move for a balls and with the queue or what you want. Yeah, with the table is not possible to move because table is not mechanism. How you can see in the over here directly in the model tree, the billiard table and cube is defined not as mechanism and is defined for 100 placement, so it's static object. If you have your specification of the material for every object, 
and then you have specification which component are fixed or placed in the assembly and another one which are placed as mechanism you can go to application tab and select mechanism if you select mechanism over there you can see the system will automatically set the license of the mechanism if you can see only a few information in model 3 you have no correct mechanism dynamic license for now I will run my correct license I load the license one more time and you can see here that right now I can see a more function like in the previous license session. What does it mean? I can work with gravity so I can select gravity and add new or specify the gravity so you can see here you can set the magnitude of the gravity and the direction. If I confirm OK it's OK in the what do we need to do we need to specify how to move with billiard cue yeah so we have the, we have the possibility to move with this object for example to the left or right but we need to set initial condition so if i will select the definition here you can see that i have specified the magnitude that i like to move with this cue one almost 2000 millimeter per seconds yeah so you need to move it a little bit quickly and what i need to use here is snapshot one so you can select drop down menu and choose the correct snapshot what you would like to use so it was really necessary to specify the snapshot for this billiard cue and then you need to specify 3d contact yeah if you would like to specify 3d contact i will show you what it is defined so you can go here over there is the all definition between all objects so for example i will select this combination and it means that if you would like to manage 3d contact between these two balls you have to specify and create new 3d contacts if you know that ball is connected to the table you need to specify 3d contact between ball and 3d table so we have four balls and couple of cues and connections you have to specify a lot of 3d contact so it's the reason i don't want to start from scratch i'd like to only explain to you how it works it's a lot of work to do and you need to spend some time so i'd like to select and show you how to manage 3d contact here and if I will select 3D contact, for example, between these two bodies, you can have a look here in the reference. You can have, I have select the surface from the ball and the surface from the another ball. You can specify the friction if you know the friction of the table of the ball and so on. But for this example, I don't use it. And in the contact, you can specify the material properties for the first object and for second object and if you'd like to use it you can manage the materials for the objects here and specify portion ratio this module and dumping yeah and again between another objects uh, for this example I will show you if you will specify it directly from scratch so if you will select the 3d contact and you can specify this surface for example and another one you can see here in the contact menu is the possible to define and use the values and you can set your custom values set material properties for selected objects and confirm ok if you will come from OK, the system will create for you new connection and you can try to run analysis. And how to run analysis? 
over here you can check that it's prepared again so I will select the definition and then you need to specify the duration and for example the frame rate so in this example I'd like to use the 25 frame 25 frame rates per one second you can see more and less it's up to you and over here on the bottom you can see that I use the initial condition one so how the system will move with billiard cue and motors is not here because we don't use the motors I will show you again later stay tuned and stay with follow to my video tutorials on YouTube and over here is the last one external loads I would like to apply the gravity and if you use the friction you can use the friction and if you run the analysis you can see how the main system run and move all objects so right now I will run the analysis okay so it's a first analysis so I can confirm OK and in model tree or in the mechanism tree you can have a look here and the system create for you the analysis you can save this analysis or you can play and if you would like to play or animate you can set your custom speed of the animation I will just quickly go and you can have a look in real time so it depends how many seconds you will set or how you set your initial condition for billiard cue make fun with this great assembly and I hope so that you try to create something similar and send me your assembly or link and we can share our knowledge on my Facebook page 4k site I'd like to thank you for watching my tutorials or explanation how to use the Creo Parametric 4.0 with the 3D contact. Bye bye, Vladimir.